Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. Today we have an aircraft from Corgi, 172nd scale diecast from the Aviation Archive. And this is a de Havilland Mosquito Mark II. And this is a night fighter from the uh, number 141st squadron from the RAF. The 141st Fighter Squadron was actually formed as a night fighter squadron in late 39 until being uh, disbanded after World War II in September of 1945. And uh, then it was reformed again a year later in 1946, flying night fighters again until 1958. And then it switched over to service to air missiles um, from 1959 until it was disbanded in 1964. Now, this particular aircraft here is the Mosquito that was uh, flown by, by Flight Officer Harry White and uh, Michael Allen. And it is credited with the shooting down of a Heinkel HE-177 bomber early in 1944. And uh, in May of uh, 1944, I think it was May 16, uh, this aircraft was actually lost without a trace during an AI exercise. Um, the AI was the radar that these uh, aircraft did have in, inside them. Um, speaking of aircraft inside, we'll check this aircraft out inside the box. And uh, as you can see, it's in the normal Corgi sort of packet we've got the stand and some undercarriage in there it does have some details of the aircraft in that flap but what we're going to do is we want to see this uh, bird and take it out of the box which we will do right now here it is out of the box i'll just lift that lid up so here you have the little baggie that does have the uh all the uh, wheels if you want to have gear down which you know me by now i will be putting these on and it does come with that normal corgi stand i bought this second hand from seller for 85 bucks um and which wasn't too bad it's got a little thing that you got to take out. We'll get this aircraft out of the packet and have a real good look at it. Move that box out of the way so it is not detracting from this aircraft and the mighty mosquito. The uh, the aircraft itself looks very nice. I mean, these uh, the main task of these aircraft was seeking out targets over Germany and um, supporting uh, the English bombing campaign during their night raids over the uh, German cities and stuff like that. These would support those raids as well. But the, we'll have a look at those panel lines first. And as you can see, it's the uh, typical Corgi detail. They aren't too bad. The lines themselves are really nice. Not overly deep. The paintwork is quite good. Inside the cockpit there. You can see the two pilots there are in there. We'll have a, have a look at the um, the engines there. The propellers do spin nice and freely. It does have that little radar aerials and everything like that on the front, as well as the um, the cannon complement of twenty millimeter cannons on the front there. Have a look underneath. It, as I said, this is a night fighter role for this one, and so of course it'll be uh, all black underneath. <laughs> So the details may be a little bit hard to see on camera. I'll try and get a bit of light to uh, bounce off it so you can sort of see the details a little bit better. But with black, it can be a little bit hard to see at times. So, But overall, the detail on it is quite nice. I think it is uh, pretty good. So what we'll do is uh, we'll do the usual and uh, we'll chuck some landing gear on this and uh, get this bird out properly. And here we have it all kitted out. And these little sections here, there's two little sections there and there. You can actually put these parts in so that they are in the uh, flaps down or open position. If you want to swap them out, I did not. I just left them in there. But um, that is another extra feature you can put in on this model if you so you choose to do so. But the landing gear goes straight forward in. It's actually two pieces. So there's the... Uh, gear doors that's a sort of a little module type that drops straight in and then you drop the uh, landing gear over the top of that so it keeps it all in place on both those and then of course you just drop in the uh, extended tail wheel so that it is in a gear down position and it does set up nicely i think it comes up pretty good you know, for a little mozzie and um with this one you know it does have that little bit, bit of a bit of mystery where it uh did disappear and was never found ever again. So <laughs> that is a bit of a mystery to uh, to work out whatever happened to this aircraft while it was doing a little training mission for that uh, AI radar that I did mention earlier. But uh, I reckon it comes up all right. We'll just chuck it on the deck here and it sits there nicely. The um, Well, the wheel, wheels, as per usual, Corgi, they do rotate. We'll just zoom in a fraction for you. And this is that mosquito from the uh, 141st squadron of the RAF. 
all right, I'll wind this up. I'll take some uh, photos of this mozzie uh, and chuck them up at the conclusion of the video, which is winding up now for you. Um, thank you once again for taking the time to check out the video. If you did enjoy it at all, throw us a bit of a like. That'd be awesome. And you know the deal. Subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying what you're seeing. I really appreciate all that have done so. And so this was, once again, from Corgi. It is 172nd scale, full die cast, from the Aviation Archive. And uh, I reckon it's not too bad. And as I said, I picked this up secondhand, and uh, I paid uh, $85 for that, and uh, which is not too bad. And I reckon it's, uh, you know, pretty cool. All right, guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.